Hey, it's Sarah with Loaves and Dishes, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this super easy broccoli salad recipe. So you're gonna need to cut up about a quarter cup of red onion, and the recipe says that you should chop it very small. I like to do these slices because I think they look pretty. They're probably not as practical to eat, so you can cut up your onion however you'd like. Then you're gonna need to cut up um, about two heads of broccoli, and um, it's kind of hard to tell because I sped this up. I might need to slow it down. But if you, instead of cutting through like the fluffy part of the broccoli, if you cut through the stems, you'll have less of those little green, the little green top parts that fall off. They'll be way less if you cut through the stems instead of cutting through the top of the broccoli. It'll be much less messy. Um, then you need some chopped pecans and some raisins. And you're gonna need you're gonna need some bacon, um, pre-cooked. I like mine extra crispy, so I made it pretty crispy. And then you just want to give that a rough chop and add that to your bowl. And then for the dressing, you're gonna need a cup of mayonnaise. Um, and it works best if you make the dressing part ahead of time because you're gonna add sugar to it, and um, it, you want to give the sugar a chance to dissolve. So you're gonna need some balsamic vinegar, some mayonnaise, some sugar, and I added a little salt and pepper as well. Um, so what I did was I made that and then I just set it off to the side for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, you can make it as far as a day or two ahead of time and you just stick it in the fridge. Um, then you wanna add that to your broccoli and all of your salad ingredients and you wanna mix it. You wanna be really careful because you don't wanna mash the broccoli um, and you don't wanna make the green you know the I don't I don't know what those are it, they feel like they're not seeds I don't understand broccoli anatomy <laughs> anyways but you don't want to smush it you don't want everything falling apart in the bowl but you do want it mixed up really well and that's it if you want to see more recipes like these check out loavesanddishes.net if you want to hear more from myself and my mom, we do have a podcast. It's called Dorks with Sporks, and you can find that wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every Monday through Friday, and you can follow us on Facebook at Loaves and Dishes for more. Thanks for watching.